Hey folks, Steve here with you once again. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Tonight we're going to talk about the trace feature on the Glowforge. Trace feature is a pretty cool little feature, uh, and we're going to show you how that works tonight. Um, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, leave us a comment so that uh, we know that we're doing a good thing here, and uh, we'd like you to hit the subscribe button. Thank you to all 76, I think we're up to now, 76 subscribers. We appreciate every one of you. Uh, make sure that if you wish to buy a GoForge that you check out our link down below. It'll save you up to $500. It's our discount. Uh, and it is a referral link, so that means that we get a little bit too. So we'd appreciate it if you'd uh, consider that. So we are going to go over to the app.glowforge.com website like we always do. We always start here. And there are two ways to get to the trace feature. Number one... You can click right here and it'll take you directly into the trace feature or you can go to new design and it'll show you the bed now this is what we're going to trace tonight really all tracing does is take a picture of what's in the bed and makes a copy of it sort of so when you're in here to get to the trace feature you will click on this little blue guy here and hit trace just kind of the long way to get to it you can do it the other way too uh, they both work so now what that did was give us a picture of what's in the bed and it'll ask us to drag the area, drag around the area that we want to trace. We want to trace all this. That didn't work correctly. It cut our name off and we got a piece of the paper here. So we're going to hit back and we're going to do it again. We do not want to cut our name off. I did it again. I don't have the paper in there quite right. Let's see if, if we zoom out. That'll give me a better view. There we go. And now we got it. So, it traced it. If you wish to cut this out, you can click there, and it gives you an outline of the whole thing. Of course, that would cut out the name, too. You don't want that. Uh, Command-Z will take that out and give you your picture back, hopefully. Control-Z, excuse me. On a, on a, It's Command-Z on a Mac, Control-Z on a... Oops, we got out of there. So we're going to go back in. We'll just go straight through the trace feature. And uh, we'll trace it again. So, assume we, let, if you wanted to cut this out, you click in that spot and it will take it out. Or you can click on the whole outside spot. Whatever spots you want cut, you will click on. It will give you a different uh, pattern. But we don't want any spots cut. So we'll go over here and hit place artwork and you'll see that now we have red where the black used to be well it's not really just outlined in red it's actually a whole copy of what we have there which is pretty nice now we don't want to cut on this paper we could but we're not going to so we're going to take the paper out and we'll go over to the glowforge and do that You can see there we have just a little MDF coaster in there. Uh, we're not going to use that coaster for anything. It's one that I've messed up doing something else. So we'll go back over here. Now you can see that it has given me a new picture of the bed. Before we do anything else, we're going to set our focus because we want to cut on this. And that's what we need. Since we don't have Glowforge's proof grade material in there, we need to make sure that we are... Uh, setting our focus now alternatively you can manually put it in I don't care to do that it doesn't ever work right for me I must not know how to read calipers correctly but if you do you can do it that way too uh, to do it that way you would go over here hit manual I think you click down here and hit manual or something I don't know <laughs> so we're gonna leave this at a thousand we're gonna go 80 for our uh, 80 for our depth there, or our power. We'll leave it at 225 lines. Uh, and that is, oh, we messed up. I don't know why it took it off. We'll go back to 80. Full power will, will go way too deep and be too dark on this thing. Uh, 225 for our lines. We're going to make this guy pretty small to fit on that coaster. We don't care. 
this is a coaster that I've already messed up on, so it's okay. Now we are at 1,080 to 20, whatever it was for the lines, we're going to be okay. We're going to hit print. I'm probably guessing about a 10 minute, maybe a little bit longer. Eight minutes, not bad. Uh, I will switch over to the bed view and we'll speed this one up after it gets going and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as it's done. We'll talk about what this is good for or what you could use it for. Alright folks, I don't know about you, but from here, that looks pretty doggone good. Um, we're going to go ahead and go get it out of there, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, there it is. A uh, little bit of charring. I don't usually tape the MDF, I should. Uh, a little bit of sandpaper. Let's see. Should take that right off. That was just a very light rubbing of sandpaper. And as you can see, it did pretty good. Um, now, this... Get my pointer out. This is a handwritten version of my name, as you saw. And then this is just a uh, coloring book page from Creative Fabrica. So it does quite a bit of different things. You could do, uh, you could have, you could draw right, right on here as long as you set your focus before you, uh, before you tr do your trace, it'll put it exactly where it's at. So you could draw right on a coaster, uh, or a piece of wood, or a slate, or whatever you want. You could have a child draw on there. Use dark ink like uh, we had. Uh, it comes out much better. You can see that is pretty good pretty good representation of what was on that uh, paper and it did a really good job you could potentially do say grandma's recipe on a cutting board a letter from somebody uh, there's a lot of potential on the things you can do with uh, with the trace feature now I'm sure that other programs have good features but this is uh, this is one I like for quick things like this now, if you had a lot of noise in there, say, Grandma's Recipe has lines on it, and you don't want the lines, then you're going to have to use a different program. But if it's just a, a plain set of handwriting or a plain coloring book page, or you have your child do a drawing for Grandpa on a piece of wood or a coaster or something, then this is perfect. 
uh, it's a perfect little feature to use. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you uh, do all those YouTube things we talked about in the beginning and click that link for the Glowforge if you want to buy one. We'll, we'll come back on Friday with another exciting adventure. We'll see you then.